Okay, in this video I'm going to go through an issue that's affecting a lot of people. Basically, BBC iPlayer VPN isn't working. Okay, last year there was a big problem for lots of expats and people outside the UK. Suddenly, the lovable old BBC started to block UK VPN servers. See this article in the register? Before that, it was relatively easy. You could use proxies, VPN servers to access BBC um, without a problem, but suddenly they started blocking them. I think about 80% or so of VPNs were just blocked. What the BBD, BBC does is target and identify specific um, VPN services, mainly through blocks of IP addresses that are being accessed, and also the legal department, which have been doing this for years, stepped up their game, and they started going over these VPN servers who use BBC logos and um, content and information on their websites. They're very, very easy um, target if you do that. VPN service does that. All the BBC legal department need to is make a call to the ISP or the hosting provider. Um, they usually back down and switch, so that's another way they were blocking it. But of course, without a VPN, you couldn't watch BBC iPlayer if you were outside the country. What would happen? You'd go to um, the BBC website. You'd actually get redirected to the um, international site. You see it's missing the TV and the iPlayer thing. Um, if you did go to the directly to the iPlayer and you try to play something, you'd get this message, BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. The moment um, BBC can see I haven't got an IP address from the UK and it blocks it. But this happened for years, and BBC never really minded that much until last year. In fact, there were actually some little guides on the BBC website showing you how to use proxies and VPNs, but that's changed. We think it's something to do with funding or rights, some of the rights issues of the um, different programmes they broadcast. Anyway, they've come down on it hard. Proxies don't work at all, um, so forget proxies, they don't work for BBC Outplaner. VPN, I think about 20% still work. Um, the low-key ones, the ones that focus just on VPN as a security product as rather than a blatant in-your-face, come and watch British TV using a VPN. Those ones mostly have gone. There's still a few working, but it's probably best to stay away from those. So I'll just show you the one I use anyway. This is one of the 20% that still uses. What they did is they switched their IP address ranges into smaller groups, um, more servers, and um, they're already pretty low key. This is Identity Cloaker. You go to the Identity Cloaker website, you won't see any any mention of TV, BBC, any logos, any it, because you can't do that anymore. Um, you have to be low key. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using a VPN service. Loads of people use it legitimately for security. Millions of people do in corporate networks and private. So there's no problem. Okay, but this is the one I use. I say Identicloaker. Um, well, I'll show you quickly that this one still does work. They've got loads of UK servers. Um, very fast. Uh, let me just click on one. Again, sits in the taskbar. You can also use it on smartphones, tablets. You have to set up the VPN connection manually. It takes about two minutes, but it's no big deal. Works on the Apple Mac as well. They've got a different version of the software. <coughs> Hopefully they'll release an app for the tablets and um, smartphones soon, but it's all been enabled. It's been working for a few years on smartphones as well. Okay, so I've got a UK IP address now. Let me just go and I'll start Firefox. And um, I'll just show you now that I've got, oops, that's a bit big, uh, a UK IP address. Let's just close that. And we'll go to BBC iPlay and see if I can watch it now. Again, this is in um, April 2017. Say so I've been using this program for about eight, nine years now. Um, they didn't get blocked at all. They had one IP address of one of the servers got blocked, um, which they switched out when the big BBC purge goes. Uh, oh, let me just try and play one of them. There we go, Versailles. Let's just play that. 
And you remember I got the message last time about uh, what is the parental guidance monitor things. But anyway, bump, there we go. 55 minutes, going to stream the whole thing. Really, really fast um, services. Uh, they try and optimize the UK ones. They're faster than any of them. But there's, there's different. You can use the American ones, German. They're all included in the subscription. Give it a try. It's a 10-day trial. Discount code on the screen somewhere. This is one VPN that I fully expect to keep working. If you look at others, remember what I said. Just try to look for the low-key ones. Oop, just stop that. Try to look for the low-key ones. Anyone that promotes BBC on their website is asking for trouble. The BBC have got a legal department and they do shut these down. And they'll take your subscription with you. So don't go that route. Um... And I'd say try Identicloaker, it works pretty well for me. Okay, right, thank you for watching. Uh, any questions, just ask them in the comment. Discount code on the screen works on all the subscriptions for Identicloaker except the trial. Test the trial first. It's it's only a few euros and you can try it out for 10 days and make sure you're happy with it. Also works with all the ITV and all the other uh, British TV stations. Okay, thanks for watching.